right, welcome back to a brand new video of the Targeted Individual Program, Targeted Individual Experience. So this ritual abuse, again, in the hands of the religious fanatics, state-sanctioned terrorist program, the illegal surveillance, the coercive persuasion program, the cognitive warfare, neurocognitive warfare, the illegal amputation of a foreign object in the body of a human being for the purpose of control, monitoring of thoughts, the uh, suggestions and, into, and introducing and commands of words, phrases. You know, and these people think that I'm going to just become silent oh, because no matter what it is that they do, attack up my kids. Right, attack on uh, using family members to engage in again setups, frameworks, manipulation to, to what to trick you or uh, to deceive you, manipulate you into what finding God and Jesus. I mean, for people who have to do all that shit to make someone, someone, a group of people believe in their God or their, their Savior. You know, it just, it just proves to me day in, day in, and day out that your God and your Savior don't exist. Right? That you got to do all of that. Right? Why don't you God speak for himself? Huh? And if you're telling me God is good and God is merciful, right? <laughs> Which we know, again, is just talking points. It's just a conditioned mindset that we all have been conditioned into saying when we know it's the it's not true. Because the believers have said God is not all good, not all merciful, not all forgiving. Right? You, you try you claim you try to be like God and want to aspire to be like God. When you you look in the mirror, you are again I'm only using the word God because we use it in modern day. Because you go back to the word God, that is a German word, and it just means to manifest. It's German in its origination, and it means to manifest, nothing else. Well, right. People may take a bond spin on things and huh? add definitions to words that was never there. Huh. All right, just, yeah, just getting out of the store. So again, uh, some things I, I'll say, some things I don't need to say, because I'm sure you guys can recognize the patterns by now, <laughs> right? So I don't need to say certain things, but this is what they do. Again, the lies, manipulation, the religious fanatic, the false sense of power given to Negropians, right? The false sense of power given to Negropians who will abuse other human beings because you know of their religious belief system and that to them that makes it okay right and like i said we've seen time and time again they do these experiments on oh, new vehicle lkf3326 say so, hey, they always find a new vehicle right their license plate number with number 32 in it and they'll be parked up right so i can see <laughs> right anyhow so recently, I've noticed that when my sister coming into my bedroom in the morning, you know, and I always ask her that when she ex leave up my bedroom that she, um, that she lock back my door, my bedroom door. And she was doing it until recently. But like I said, they have, once you expose them in one way, and once you take away certain control that they have, then they will find and move to other ways. And again, how they use women including women in your family, right? Who are, again, religious, to engage in, you know, the sort of like, you know, I don't gotta listen to what you gotta say, I don't, you know, I don't respect you, right? But yet, they want to be respected, okay? It's funny how that works, right? Right, in order to, to get respect, you have to give respect, right? I'm not gonna respect you if you don't respect me, sorry, not gonna happen, okay? <laughs> I keep saying, I'm not a Negro Pian. I used to be one. 
but I'm no longer a nigger pin. Okay? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up a second. Oh, I gotta go back to the store. See? Look. I gotta go back to the store because I gave him. Uh, look at him. Look at him. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah, I remember. So he hit him with the water bottle. So I asked for two dollars and change, and he gave me back two dollar change, and I didn't even realize that. So now that I see, I realize I turn around. Look, he comes out. Right? Again, testing your memory. Right? Testing your memory. Again, even today, I know it's a memory test. I know. I remember. <laughs> so that's what they again, you see the patterns, right? I keep, I keep showing you guys the patterns because I know them all so well and how they try to manipulate me. All right? And I just, again, this is a, a perfect example, good example of what it is that they do. All right? So again, you know, as I was taking the change up, he took a uh, took back another dollar, and I'm like, okay, did I did I ask him for two dollars or three dollars? But then I'm like, wait, he only gave me, um, you know, well, like I said, they'll like I said, they'll do things, right? So for example, you know, I talk about how I was overpaying the bus fare because they were manipulating me, my subconscious, to where I would put more money into the machine and the and the um, thing, right? So what do you see? The guy with the water bottle wearing all black. Walking back up, he comes wearing all black. Right? And she's still standing for the corner because they want to see, they want to test me. They want to test my memory, see if I remember. You know, again, that's what they do. Again, doesn't mean that they have not uh, neurologically damaged me or affected me, okay? It just means that today, I remember something. <laughs> oh, smiling. See, all black. <laughs> See that? And they think it's funny. Right? Again, this is psychological abuse. Right? And they think it's funny. It's, it's just criminal. Okay? So now I got it. I didn't know what they're doing. They didn't know what they're doing. Raphael! Hey! You gotta give me back that dollar you took up, my buddy. I give you five dollars, right? Yeah. You give me. I asked for two dollars and change. I give up two single, three, four. No, no. I don't know. Give me, I give up two you single. Give, you give me two single. Okay. Yeah, but I give you five dollars. That's what I say. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. So I'm thank you. I just. No, because All right. No, thank you. I give you. No, you, 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 you. Again, you gave me. Uh, you, you put three dollars down, but then you pick, took about another dollar, and I, I forgot. I, I, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. See that? Give me back my money with no problem. No. You got the old man. Why? You saw him walk across the street, right? Because I was recording. Stand up here, and as I walk back, and look at the dude coming from, from the store in the back, putting his hands over his mouth. Yeah, turning around. You, yeah, buddy. Gotcha. Okay, again, psychological abuse and getting weaponizing the community members to engage in in crimes. I love them. See? There's a right there. Same dude. Put them on blast, man. Negro Pians deserve to be shot, executed, beheaded. When they do shit like that, yeah. Crimes against humanity. Right? Treason. Particularly those that work in the American government. Right, treason, because they, they've been, and the very same people that they do the same shit to, they, they get to involved in targeting me, right? Negro Pians, that's who. Very same people, right? Very same, oh, have my next door neighbor, here we go. Very same people, man, very same people. Very, very same people, it's a damn shame. How you doing? Right, damn shame. With their threats and, you know, all this shit. Because this is what they do. Well, like I said, I was built for this. Didn't know I had it in me. But when the ancestors are weakened within you, you'll understand. All right? And no passive Negro here. Never will be. And this is what they try to do to us in America today and around the world. Is to create a passive mindset in black people that you can abuse them. But not also that, but you can get them to abuse each other, right? And economic warfare is a big part of 
what it is that they do because when the people have a self identity when the people have a self-reliance when the people have the ability to economically support themselves and each other they can't do this they can't do this this is why economic warfare is rage on black people to control us to control us and then to do what to manipulate us against each other keep saying you look at the behavior of so-called black elites it is one that is that has no form of social or no form of thinking or thought about being socially responsible to the people in their group right but they are socially responsible for the people outside their group for the people who have oppressed them you know i give you guys plenty of examples i can give you one all right i can give you one okay dr dre dr dre gave 40 million dollars to stanford university right again see all they did all all of that was a test all right to test my memory it was a test <laughs> but thank goodness for that game cobra all right thank goodness for that game cobra that i take every day yeah, over, yeah, over, yeah. anyhow um <laughs> so dr dre 40 million dollars to stanford and no money to any hbcu Right, you got people like Jay Z who will give tens of millions of dollars to these Ivy League schools as if they need it, right? And will ignore the plight of HSBCU, right? Even states that owe money to HSBCUs don't even, um, you know, that owe billions actually, billions that they have not that they are legally obligated to pay HBCUs there's too much money I have in this car because uh, let's see the money I have in the transfer all right let's see oh yes it did okay there you go they had the money there. they didn't even know that wow it's a, it's a good thing I said let me try all right Look at the nigger peers. And again, getting black people to participate in this shit, right? Not black people, but nigger peers to participate in this. Because as a black person, they couldn't get me to do this shit to nobody. Right? And you gotta be weak minded to do things like this. See their strength, their strength is in their as again, you know, when it see black nigger peers believe their strength is in their numbers when it comes to ganging up on another black person. Right? But how come they don't think like that when it comes to combating? racism right why well, don't think that way when it comes to combating uh, discrimination right? and the people who discriminate against them right why well, don't they think that way when it comes to uh, confronting the predators and the sambos and sambinas on the police department that continue to violate the rights of their children including themselves including killing their children and people that look like them including their family members and friends right but I want you to understand the resources that is, that is being put into to target us as TIs. Speaking from my experience, me as a TI. The resources that they put in, right? And what it is that they do, right? And like I said, they can no longer manipulate. And this is why you see they try to engage in the behavior that they try to engage in. And again, they try to silence me and that's not gonna happen, right? Like I said, I'll die for what I know. The question is, are they, will they die for what they believe? Right? See, they don't want black people to have the mindset of, you know what? Of sacrifice. Sacrifice for their children, sacrifice for each other, sacrifice for their nation. I need help. Right? It's about tucking their tails and run. It's about going into the church and kneeling down and praying, and things don't change. Right? We, are more, we more believe in hope than we believe in reality. Right? We more believe in religion than we believe in each other and ourselves. 
So, like I said, it's going to be a battle. But I'm an African. I'm a black man. All right? I'm not a nigger peer. Fuck all that shit. They're going to have to kill me. Because I'm going to kill them if, if they try to kill me. Okay? <laughs> Just simple as that. All right? Defense is the best offense when it comes to my situation. All right, talk to you guys in the next video.